Ali, Jesse, and their mom were sitting at the kitchen table waiting for dad to join them. He assured them he was going to be just a minute more and they would all have dinner together for the first time in months. Ali had just gotten back home after her first year of college. Okay, dad called as he came into the kitchen. I am done with that call. So, what shall we talk about? How about your first year at college, Ali? Exhausting. Ali laughed. Between studying for classes and trying to spend time with my girlfriends when we got a few minutes, usually over the weekend if we didn't have some major exam coming up. Living in the dorm was different. I haven't had to share my room with someone else before, and 50 girls all sharing the same bathroom? OMG, what a mess. It took a while, but we finally settled into a rhythm where we all worked somewhat together, or at least didn't get in each other's way as much. Oh, Ali girl, her mom gushed. I'm so glad you did so well and enjoyed it. But I am glad that you are home for the summer. I've missed you so much. Well, about that, dad broke back in. That call I just finished up. It looks like I have a long business trip I am going to have to take over the summer. Three months. What? Mom spun to look at him. By the time you get back, Ali will be off to college again. Well, maybe not just me, he grinned at her. I thought maybe you'd like to come with me this time. London, Madrid, Rome, Vienna, Paris, and Berlin. About two weeks in each city. I can't, Mom objected. The kids. The kids are old enough to take care of themselves, he assured her. Allie and Jessie both nodded when she looked at them. No, not for the whole summer, she stated. But maybe I could join you in Paris? The parents went on discussing it. Jessie looked at Allie with eyes wide and a big grin. He mouthed two weeks. Allie grinned back knowing just what he was thinking about. She was glad for it too. She had enjoyed their dressing up games and the night they walked along the stores with her friends and his current girlfriend all dressed up in their little black dresses. Okay, settled, dad announced. Jesse and Allie looked at each other, they had missed the final agreement. They both turned to look at their parents. Do you kids think you can keep from burning down the house for a month? He asked. A month? Jesse asked. Weren't you listening? Dad asked. Your mother agreed to fly to Vienna, come to Paris and spend a week with me in Berlin before she feels she has to be back home. I'm sorry, Ali girl, mom moaned. I wanted to spend the summer with you. It's okay, mom, Ali reached out and patted her mother's hand. We'll have plenty of time together still. So, I have to leave tomorrow night, dad explained. Which means I'll have to get my fill of you guys before I go. Anything interesting going on with you, Jesse? You and Kendra still getting along? Oh, yeah, everything's great with us, Jesse sputtered. He was having trouble containing his excitement. Good, glad to hear that, Dad went on like he didn't notice any change in Jesse. These young romances can fizzle in a heartbeat. Don't get too broken up if things end, you'll find someone else soon enough. That's a terrible thing to say, Mom objected. They are really sweet together and they have a lot in common. You can tell Kendra just dotes on him. I'm not saying it will happen, but we will both be gone for a month, he went on. Perhaps I shouldn't go, Mom fretted. No, Ali spoke up. First, they aren't going to break up, they aren't going to break up while you are gone, and if by some freak of chance, they do break up I will be here to help him get through it. But we'll all have a great summer. Her mother looked at her, grinned, I have missed you so much, Ali girl. Okay, everything will be fine, we'll all have a great summer. What about summer plans, now that you know you'll be unsupervised for a month? Dad asked. I need to go looking for a job, Jessie sighed. Me, too, Ali added. I'm going to check in at the restaurant to see if I can get my hostess job back. I liked doing it and the money was decent. Perhaps Jesse could tag along, Dad suggested. Busboy, dishwasher, maybe a waiter. You could put in a good word. Ali nodded. Sure, I could do that. They talked more about the trip and other work possibilities should the restaurant not pan out. 
After dinner Jessie left to go see Kendra. Allie went to her room to finish unpacking. She turned to her closet and sighed. It seemed there wasn't as much room in it as she thought there was. She went to work rearranging some things and examining the extra items that seemed to have found their way in there. After she got things put away, she texted Dee Dee and Helen to see if they were home yet. They texted back and forth for a while and decided to meet up in a couple days, family wanted time first. She chucked the phone onto the bed and went to hang out with her parents. Allie woke up and stretched. Her dad had flown out last night, they had a good day together. Her meeting at the restaurant was set for later that afternoon. She was meeting up with her girlfriends later in the morning, so she decided to get showered and dress for the interview. A gray blouse with short translucent sleeves, and a pleated shiny black skirt, short, but not too short. Wow, you look nice, Mom offered as Ali came into the kitchen. Got the interview and I'm going to go see Dee Dee and Helen before I go over so figured I might as well dress for it. I almost went with one of the dresses I wore when I was working there last summer but thought this blouse and skirt would look nice but not like I felt like I already had the job, Ali explained. Where's Jesse? He left earlier to go do something with Kendra, Mom explained. He asked me to tell you he will meet you at the restaurant. Okay, that works, Ali sat down with a bowl of cereal and started eating. Ali girl, Mom started casually, how long have you known about Jesse dressing up like a girl? Ali spit some cereal and milk back into her bowl. She coughed as she grabbed a napkin to wipe her face. Wah, uh, huh, I, uh, what? Look, here is the way I figure it, Mom explained, a couple years ago I noticed some of my things had moved. It was subtle but I know how I do certain things. I thought maybe you were looking for something. But after a while that didn't fit, then Jesse was having a problem and you talked to him. Suddenly he was doing better, happier and that was great. I also noticed that my things weren't being messed with anymore, but perhaps that was because you were away at college. I went to look for something in your closet shortly after you left for college and noticed a dress and skirt that surprised me that you didn't take them with you, they were pretty and in good shape. You'd look terrific in them. Then I started thinking, so I waited. About a month or so I went back to look in your closet again and you suddenly had another new skirt, and you hadn't been home. Since you came home and didn't ask about the new clothes in your closet, I am assuming you knew where they came from and since it wasn't me, and definitely not your father, it has to be Jessie. Ali sat there with her spoon poised over her bowl. She looked down to be sure there were no wet spots on her blouse or skirt. She was a little in bit in shock and not sure how to respond. Dear, her mom continued, I'm sure you don't want to betray your brother's trust, but we are past that. I haven't said anything to him because I wanted to talk to you about it first. Um, well, I guess I found out just after graduation last summer, Ali whispered. I was going out but came back for earrings, I caught Jessie hiding in my closet in, um, some of my things. I see, she nodded. So you decided to help him. Well, not just like that, Ali objected, at first I was really upset but I had to go meet Helen and Dee Dee. Then when I got home I had calmed down a little so Jesse and I talked about it some before I decided I'd help him. He got so much happier again. We became so close bonding over it. His girlfriend, Kendra, mom pressed on. Is she really a girlfriend or just a girl to keep up appearances? Oh no, Ali blurted, she's a girlfriend in every way. I mean, he's told me about some things but says they haven't, you know, done it. Well, that's a relief, Mom leaned back in her chair. He's too young to be getting into that kind of trouble. Does she know? Ali snickered. Would you believe they met and scheduled their first date when Jessie was dressed up in one of my work dresses? Um, how did that happen? Mom asked. Ali gave her the details about the whole adventure. Okay, Mom sat back. That's quite a story. I am going to have to talk to Jesse about this. Mom, are you sure? Ali pressed. He's happy. For one, I don't want him to keep sneaking around, she explained. You father's gone for the summer, and God only knows what you two had planned for the month I am going to be gone. Nothing specific, Ali grinned. Yeah, 
but I'm sure you would have come up with something, she shook her head. I. Hey, Jesse called as he burst through the back door. Kendra had something else she had to do so I came back home. I hoped I might catch Allie before she left. I think you ought to sit down, Mom suggested. Jesse's face immediately fell as he glanced back and forth between Allie's face and his mother's. What? Am I in some kind of trouble? He slowly slid into one of the vacant chairs. Jesse, Allie started. No, Allie girl, I'll do this, her mother interrupted. Jesse, I figured out what's been going on and pressed Allie on it. She admitted that she's known about you dressing up as a girl and that she has been helping you or did before she went off to college. I'd like you to explain it to me. Why? Well, he turned to Allie, tears visible in his eyes, I like the clothes. I like how they feel on me, I like how I feel when I am wearing them. I feel different, good. It is hard to explain, I just know I like wearing a dress more than I like wearing these shorts. Okay, first, don't blame Allie, his mom explained. I laid out all my facts on how I figured it out before she would utter a word. She did not want to tell me, but she knew I already knew a lot. Now, what do you want to do? What would you do if I had already gone off to Europe with your father and you knew you had the whole summer with just you and Allie? Oh, and I understand Kendra already is aware of this predilection of yours. Jesse wiped at his eyes. Guess it's a good thing I'm not wearing mascara, he choked out a laugh and sniffled. After a couple moments he sat up straighter. When I heard we would have the house to ourselves for a month I started thinking I'd save some money so I could buy a couple nightgowns. I like the idea of slipping into one and cozying up to watch TV before climbing into bed. I guess you know I already have other clothes. That was part of how I figured it out, Mom told him. Ali was accumulating all these cute cloths and wasn't even here. I never thought you'd look in her closet, and if you did, I didn't think you'd think much about it, Jessie shrugged. It was an odd series of events, Mom admitted. But I worry about my children and I couldn't let it go. So, here is what I'd like to see. After you go by the restaurant, I'd like you to come back here and we all have dinner together. And Jessie, I'd like you to dress up for dinner, there is a blue dress in Allie's closet that I believe is actually yours? I think that would be nice for tonight. Allie, you and I will also dress up appropriately. I don't want Jessie to feel uncomfortable being the only one dressed up. What you have on now is nice but maybe something a little nicer? A bit more color? Could you both do that for me? Um, sure, Allie answered. Really? You want me to do that? Jessie asked. From what Allie has told me you look really pretty, Mom told him. I'd like to see for myself. Jessie leapt up and went to Allie first and hugged her, then went to Mom and hugged her. He started to leave but stopped at the door and turned. I love you both so much. He left without waiting for an answer. Allie finished her breakfast, gave her mother a kiss, and called out, Jesse, I'll see you at the restaurant, don't be late. She heard a muffled, okay. Satisfied, she left to see her friends. When she got to Helen's, Dee Dee was already there. Well, hey girl. Helen cried out, jumped up and gave her a big hug. As soon as she let go, Dee Dee embraced her. So, Kendra and Jessie are pretty hot and heavy, eh? Helen jumped right in. Sounds like it to me, Allie agreed. He started telling me some things but I cut him off, I don't need to hear about him letting a girl reach up his skirt. Her hands aren't the only ones wandering, Dee Dee giggled. He told me they weren't doing the deed, Allie added. At least so far. Kendra told me the same, Dee Dee added. They are so sweet together, my folks just love him. He's a good kid, Helen opined. Yeah, he is, Allie straightened her skirt as she sat on the edge of the bed. My mom grilled me this morning about Jesse dressing up, then confronted him with it when he came in. No, Helen exclaimed. How? Dee Dee asked. She figured it out, Allie told them. Now she wants to have dinner tonight, the three of us, all dressed up. She wants to see how Jesse looks. I think if anything he has gotten even cuter, Dee Dee told them. Kendra showed me a couple pictures. 
He's gotten really good at doing his makeup, and his hair has really grown out and he does a good job styling it as well. Can't wait to see him tonight, Ali laughed. Perhaps he should teach some of the girls around the high school how to do it right, Helen laughed. They all laughed and talked about their last year and plans for the summer until Ali decided she needed to head out. Good luck! Helen wished her as she headed for the door. Yeah, hope they have a spot for you. I know you liked working there, Dee Dee added. Thanks. Talk to you later, Ali waved and started out the door. Hey, tell your mom next time we'd all like to come to dinner, Helen spoke. After all, we were there for his first outing. I'll tell her, Ali laughed. She might even go for it. She sure surprised me this time. Allie drove over to the restaurant and saw Jesse's car already in the parking lot. She pulled in next to him. Ready? She called through the window. Jesse nodded. She looked him over, khaki slacks and a pressed shirt. You look nice. That's a good start. So do you, he grinned. I think I'd be more comfortable wearing that. You've really taken to dressing up like a girl. I thought you might tire of it, Allie stopped for a second. Let's talk some after this and before we go home, okay? Sure, he pulled the door open. After you. They walked into the manager's office together. Hi Steve, Ali smiled at him. This is my brother Jesse that I told you about. Hey Ali, Jesse, go ahead and take a seat, Steve greeted them. First I have some good news and some bad news. I'll get right to it. Ali, I had a girl tell me she wants the summer off, so I have a hostess slot open for you. It will be great for us because you already know the lay of the land and can hit the ground running. Could you start this Friday? Yeah, sure, that would be great, Ali grinned. Now, the bad news, Steve continued. Well, maybe doubly bad. Right now I am totally staffed up in the kitchen. And you are too young to be serving alcohol so I can't use you as a waiter. Jesse, I am really sorry about that because if you are half as good a worker as your sister, I really would like to have you working here. You said doubly bad, Jesse asked. Yeah, while the other half is more for Ali, Steve leaned back. Last night another of the girls decided she needed the summer, only she didn't give me any notice. That means Friday, you will be working the hostess station alone. And you know how busy weekend nights are. I'm in a jam and can't get anyone else to work it with you. I could, Jesse spoke up. Sorry, Jesse, Steve shook his head. We hire guys or girls for any other position, but the restaurant has a policy of having girls at the hostess stand only. That's okay, Jesse nodded, I can do it. Black dress, heels. Nobody would know. Steve stared at him for a second. Turned to Allie, is he serious? I'm afraid he is, Ali squirmed a little. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised he is doing this. Look, Jesse pressed. I've been going out with my girlfriend for the last year and at least half the time we go out I wear a dress or skirt or something and nobody even gives me a second glance. Let me come by tomorrow and show you. If you agree, I can work Friday night with Ali and learn the ropes. Any problems come up you can always fire me. Your parents are okay with this? Steve wondered. Well, our dad's out of town for the summer, Jesse continued. And my mom told me this morning that she figured out what I was up to. We are having dinner tonight all dressed up. Ali watched Steve sit there staring at Jesse for what seemed like a long time. When he did look at her, she shrugged, and he went back to looking at Jesse. I must be desperate to go along with this but I don't have time to find someone else, Steve sighed. Tomorrow, be here tomorrow, 3.30 dressed as if you would be working that night. Allie, if you know a girl that would like the job, let me know, wait. Do you know someone? I'm afraid I don't right now, Allie admitted. Maybe later in the summer I might. Right, Steve stood up. Okay, Allie, see you Friday at 3.30, Jesse, see you tomorrow. I can't believe I am going to try this. You won't be disappointed, Jesse beamed. Get out of here, Steve waved them off. I've got work to do. Allie followed Jesse out to the parking lot. Are you insane, 
she grabbed his arm and turned him to face her. There are a lot of people that come to this restaurant. Someone will figure it out. I've been out a lot, Jesse explained. And mom knows so I don't have to worry about sneaking out of the house to change. I could live all summer like a girl. Except when you go to Kendra's house, Ali pointed out. Or do her parents know about it too? No, you're right, Jesse dropped his head. Why this big push to live like a girl? Ali asked him. I understood the curiosity, the newness of something different, the thrill of doing something against the rules. But you keep talking about living as a girl, are you thinking you want to change? She watched Jesse as he thought about what he wanted to say. Her stomach nodded worried about what he must be dealing with. No, Jesse finally spoke. I thought about it for a while because I am so happy when I get all dressed up and do my makeup and fix my hair. But in the end, I like being a boy. This summer could be a real challenge and a chance to immerse myself. I think it could be fun. I don't know, Ali hugged him. I'm worried about you. You could get into some real trouble here. Now, we better get home and get changed for dinner. This will be interesting, especially when you share the news of your new job. Maybe she'll be so impressed with how I look she'll just be happy for me? Jesse added. Don't hold your breath, Ali answered. See you at home. Some time later Ali was standing in front of the mirror looking herself over. She knew Jesse would be in a blue dress, her mom wanted it colorful and she had no idea what she would wear, so she went with a lime green mini dress. It fit her pretty tight down to mid-thigh. Here goes, she told herself in the mirror. She walked into the kitchen and saw she was the first to arrive. She went to the stove and found everything still hot, so she started fixing everyone's plates and setting them on the table. Oh, Ali girl, thank you, her mother squealed as she entered the kitchen. Ali looked her mother over, a little surprised. She wore a red mini dress, and like her dress it was tight down to the hip but then flared out in a full skirt every bit as short as the dress she was wearing. Another difference was the low-cut neckline showing more than a bit of cleavage. Wow, mom, nice dress. I don't think I've seen you in anything quite that short, or that low. Is it too revealing? She placed one hand over her breasts, the other went to the hem. I bought it today. I thought I might take it to Europe. Seemed like something I would wear while in Paris. I thought your father might like seeing me in it. Oh, I'm certain he will, Ali smiled at her. And no, you look terrific. You can definitely pull it off. I agree, Jesse spoke from behind their mother. You look amazing. Mom spun to look at Jesse and stumbled backwards toward Ali who reached out and steadied her. Oh, my lord, Mom gasped. Jesse, Ali stared you have really stepped up your game. I don't think dad would recognize you. I certainly wouldn't have, mom whispered. I thought I would have to be supportive in your efforts, but you look really pretty. You could fool anyone. Except your eyes. I can still see you in your eyes. Amazing job on your makeup and hair. And that dress really looks good on you. I need to sit down. Are you okay? Ali reached out to help steady her mother and led her to the table. Oh, yes, I'm fine, she sat. I just thought I was prepared for seeing Jesse in a dress, but I wasn't prepared to see a young woman who is supposed to be my son. Ali turned to look Jesse over once their mom was taken care of. He really has improved immensely since she has been away. And he has great taste in clothes as well. The blue dress fit him well. She could tell he increased the size of his breasts since last summer, not a lot, maybe just a little larger than average. The dress had short sleeves with a little ruffle that matched the ruffle on the full skirt. It was just a little longer than the dresses she and her mom were wearing, and the neckline was nice, down but not anywhere close enough to show any part of his breasts. They all sat down at the table. Ali watched her mom watch Jessie walk around the table and take a seat. I really am having a hard time wrapping my head around this, mom said. Right now I feel like I've got two daughters. I don't see anything that would tell me otherwise. The way you look, the way you move. I'm shocked. But, I'll learn to deal with it over the summer when I see you dressed up like this. 
don't be too surprised if I don't end up calling you Jessie Girl sometimes. Oh, wait, do you have another name you use when you are dressed like this? No, Jessie works both ways, Jessie grinned at his mother, Ali could see how pleased he was. Okay, mom took a deep breath, settled in, and picked up her fork. So, Ali girl, how'd things go at the restaurant? Did you get your old job back? Yes, Ali grinned, they were getting into a jam and was happy to have me come back. I'll be starting this Friday night. Wonderful, mom praised her. Do a good job and it pays off in more ways than one. And Jesse, how about you? Did they have something for you? Um, well, not at first, Jesse hesitated. I need to go back tomorrow for a second interview. A second interview? Mom looked back and forth between them. Who needs two interviews for kitchen work? Well, Jesse glanced over to Ali, took a breath and began, they didn't have any jobs in the kitchen, but, like Ali said, they were in a jam for hostesses so I told Steve I could do it. He wants me to show up tomorrow to prove I could pull it off. Mom stared at Jesse for several seconds, then at Ali and back to Jesse. You can't be serious. Yes, he is, Ali offered her support. After Jesse insisted he could do it I told Steve that he could. Steve wants to see him dressed for work tomorrow before making a final decision. Jesse felt that since you already know, obviously, that he wouldn't have to worry about sneaking around. Except for when he needs to go over to Kendra's, he plans on spending the summer as, uh, my sister and your daughter. Oh my, mom put down her fork. A lot has changed today. But, I don't see any reason Steve will turn you down from what I see here at the table. Goodness. It is going to be very strange for me to have a house full of girls for the summer with no men around. Well, sometimes I'll need to dress in my other clothes, Jesse told her. Not often, but sometimes. Ali could see Jesse was just so thrilled with the way things were going. She just hoped nothing happened to get him hurt. They ate in silence for a little while. Ali figured it best to give their mother time to adjust to how far Jesse had taken all this. She figured it was a little easier for her, having known for more than a year and seeing the growth he had gone through last summer into his feminine persona. Well, you both like this dress? Mom finally broke the silence. Absolutely, Ali answered. If you had worn that before Dad left, he might have stayed. I agree, Jesse added. You're hot. Hot. Oh my, Mom giggled. Well, because I just happened to find this the other day. I wasn't shopping for anything, I just happened to see it and bought it. I really need to do some more shopping for the trip, and I was planning on asking you, Ali girl, to go with me one afternoon but I am wondering if maybe both my girls would like to come along. I'd love it, Jessie broke into a huge smile. Of course, I'd love to help you do some shopping, Ali answered. Wonderful, Mom offered them both a genuine smile. Jessie girl, it is still early enough, I think after dinner you might like to go to a store and find yourself at least a few nightgowns. I'll lend you my credit card but keep the cost down some please. You don't need to be buying $100 or more of nightgowns. I'm certain you can find something you can live with until you have your own money. Jesse jumped up from his seat and wrapped his arms around his mother. Thank you. I know just where to go. I've looked at them before and probably get three for about $100 total, if that's okay. $100 total for three? His mother looked at him. I bet at least one or two of them are a bit nicer than a cotton nightgown. But, that's fine. A girl should have some things that make her feel nice. Jesse went back to his seat and Ali was certain he was eating faster. As soon as dinner was done, Jesse hit the door as fast as could move in the heels he was wearing. That was really nice of you, Ali told her mom. I wish we'd told you earlier. He was so happy once I decided to help him, he would have been delirious knowing you supported him as well. Well, it wasn't easy to come to terms with, she explained. At first I wondered if I had made some kind of mistake raising him. How could I have gone so wrong with him when you turned out so well? Maybe it was because your father was gone all the time and he was influenced by being around just the girls so much. Then I started reading stuff about it on the internet. From what I read, 
this seems to be something that is just ingrained in him. Another aspect of his unique personality. I can accept that. I would love you both regardless of anything. Of course, if you go out and get drunk and kill someone while driving I will still love you and I would turn you in if you didn't get caught right away. And I would visit you in prison every day. She giggled. Thanks, Mom, Ali laughed. What about Dad? Do you think he could accept this? I don't know, she sighed. Men are generally so, oh, what am I trying to say, so stubbornly male. They aren't allowed to show weakness and there are some who would see anything other than their narrow view of what makes a man as weak. It's sad. Ali got up, went over and hugged her mom. She held on for a long time. Thank you, mom. You are such a terrific mother, never doubt that. And I promise if I kill someone while driving drunk I'll turn myself in so you don't have to. Her mom gave her a swat on the bottom that made her dress flip. You brat. Ali laughed and left the kitchen. Sometime later Ali was sitting on the couch in some shorts and an oversized tea watching TV with her mom when they heard Jesse come in. Hey, we're in the living room, Ali called out. Okay, I'm going to change, then I'll come in and watch with you, he called back. Bet he can't wait to get into one of those new nightgowns, Ali snickered. What sort do you think he bought? her mother asked. Well, judging from the lingerie he likes, I'd say some pretty sexy stuff, Ali answered. But I'm sure he'll take into account that he'll be around a so likely not a sure baby doll. Likely? her mother asked. Oh my. A short time later they heard him coming down the hall, bare feet slapping against the hardwood. Ali was practically wanting to run into the hall and see. It had taken most of her strength to not go knocking on his door to see what he'd purchased. Jesse walked in and went to the couch. He had on a floor-length, white satiny nightgown. Thin spaghetti straps at the top, it hugged his body to his hips and flared only slightly down to his feet. Ali could see the dimples in the fabric where the panty he wore underneath it lay. Wow, his mother spoke first. So, I am going to say that one took the lion's share of the one hundred dollars? Very nice. Yes, Jesse sat, pulled his knees up and wrapped his arms around his legs. I got lucky and it was on sale for sixty dollars. Want to show us what else you got? Ali pressed wanting to see the rest. Not tonight, Jesse answered. I'll show you later. Ali bit back a plea and turned to watch the TV again. She saw her mother trying to steal a peek at Jesse without appearing to be looking at him. She could see a slight smile on her face. Allie knocked on Jesse's door and pushed it open. Jesse was standing there in lacy black panties and bra preparing to put on a black dress. Ready for your meeting with Steve? Allie asked. Just about, Jesse answered. He pulled the dress down his body. Think this will be good? I wanted to look like I would at work but not look like I was trying too hard. No, I think it is perfect, Ali went and zipped it up for him. Not too low a neckline, short full skirt, slightly puffy sleeves. If he decides to give you the position you might want to wear that the first night. Thanks, Ali, Jessie hugged her. You are the best. And what about mom? Can you believe how cool she has been about this whole thing? All the time I was sneaking around while dad was out of town and I could have been dressing up that whole time. Yeah, Ali agreed. She moved a hair back that had gotten stuck in his mascara. She really is amazing. Now, go shock Steve and let us know how it goes. She watched him walk away down the hall before he turned out of sight. It is getting harder and harder to remember I have a brother and not a sister. A couple hours later the door slammed, and Jessie came rushing into Allie's room. Well? Allie dropped the book she was reading and stared at Jessie. She already knew the news was good because he couldn't stop smiling. Okay, Jessie sat in a chair, crossed his legs and carefully arranged his dress. So I walked in and knocked on Steve's door. I was about ten minutes early. He looks up and starts telling me that he already promised the hostess job to someone else, and I was starting to feel really rotten, but then he says if I'd leave my name and number, he would keep me in mind if an opening came up and I realized he didn't recognize me. I told him who I was, and he looks me up and down and says bloody, hell. He actually said that. 
Then he told me I had the job. I had eliminated any doubt he had. I start training with you Friday night. That's wonderful. Ali cheered. What's all the noise? Mom appeared in the doorway. I got the job. Jesse screamed. I got that, she nodded. Jesse, I am enormously proud of you. But you need to be really careful. You've been lucky so far with the people who know about this. Some won't be as understanding. Some will be downright jerks about it. I understand. Jesse seemed to settle back down to earth again. Okay, so, how do we celebrate? Mom asked. Maybe we should all go out for a nice dinner? Ali offered. Since neither of you has started working yet, I guess that means I would be buying? Mom sighed. But you get to pick the restaurant, Jesse offered. Fine, she laughed. There is a nice steak and seafood place over by the freeway. How about that? Um, are you ready to go someplace with me like this? Jesse asked, or do I need to put on my other clothes? I think you need to change, Mom said. Allie was shocked and felt her mouth drop open as she turned to stare. I think we need to be more colorful than black. So, get changed, something other than what we wore for dinner the other night. Let's go have a good time. Allie felt like a weight had fallen on her and then melted away. She watched as Jessie leapt up from the chair and rushed to go pick a dress to wear to dinner out. Allie went to her closet and picked out a red dress, it was long to just above her ankle in a full skirt. It had short sleeves and a round neck and was made of a lighter material that would be comfortable in the warm weather. It felt like a nice combination of dressy and casual. She changed out her lingerie opting for a red g-string and bra. After fixing her hair and makeup she went to Jessie's room. The door opened as she was about to knock. Oh! Jesse ducked back from the knuckles that were about to wrap him on the forehead. Sorry, I was just coming to see if you are ready, Ali answered. Great dress! Jesse reached out and pulled at the skirt examining the fabric. I thought a long dress would be too much fabric. Too warm and all. And yet you got that long nightgown? She asked. Oh, right, he let go of the skirt and stepped into the hallway. Ali looked him over, he wore a mini dress, white with flowers. The skirt was full, half sleeves, v-neck. They marched on to their mother's room. She came out in a yellow sleeveless dress. It had a high circle neck, the skirt was full and about halfway down started stripes of brown and black to its knee-length hem. Well, ladies, she looked them both over. I think we look fabulous. Let's go to dinner. They walked into the restaurant and Ali saw the attention they were garnering. Men without dates were openly staring at the three of them and those with dates were repeatedly glancing their way. She felt good, but also wondered how many of those were ogling her brother in the short dress. Though it was certainly possible they were checking out mom as well. Would you like a glass of wine, Ali girl? Mom asked. No, Jessie girl, you aren't old enough yet. Sure. I'll go with whatever you think, Allie answered. Her mom is buying her wine, it made her feel just a little more grown up. They enjoyed a wonderful dinner, chatting away the whole time. Well, mom put her fork down after finishing her cheesecake, I need to do some more shopping for my trip. Would you girls like to accompany me? I thought maybe Sunday if you aren't having to work. I get to go. Jessie grinned. Of course, Mom reached over and patted his hand. I said so before and from what I've seen so far, you both have excellent taste in clothes, and I would love for both my girls to help me be as fashionable as possible. They went back home and decided to settle in with some television before heading off to bed. Jesse was the last to come in and Allie's eyes went wide when she saw him. Wow, Allie gasped. I thought last night's gown was nice. That one is pretty sexy. Yes, Mom added. If you were able to get that and the long gown and another for under $100 I need to go there. I think your father would love to see me in something like that. Maybe in red, though. Did they have it in red? Jesse moved to the couch. He had on a short silky nightgown in blue. It had spaghetti straps and barely reached low enough to cover his rear. The hem was lined in white lace. 
Added to that was a slit up the left thigh that showed a small strip of a matching panty. He sat carefully. I saw one in pink, green, and black. Also, a white one with black lace trim. I had to buy the panty separate, it didn't come with it. Maybe pink could work, his mother mused. Black and white could also be nice. Thanks, definitely made the right choice about asking you to help shop. I wonder what Kendra would think if she saw you in that? Ali winked at Jesse. She watched him shift in his seat and decided he wasn't going to answer, which was fine. It was a month later and Ali was getting ready to head to work. The summer had been good and tonight she would be working with Jesse at the restaurant. He was an excellent hostess, picked everything up quickly. Steve was very impressed and had told her that he was glad he decided to give Jesse a chance rather than writing him off immediately. She finished getting dressed, short black dress, of course, and headed to meet up with Jesse. Jesse stepped out of his room and Allie couldn't help but stare. He was dressed in a short black dress, full skirt, short sleeves, which was usual. But from the neckline down to just above where his bra must be, was sheer, and he had a cleavage. She stared at it, her mouth hung open. What do you think? Jesse shimmied his shoulders shaking his breasts. I found some fake breasts online and ordered them. They look pretty real, even have a nipple. I bought a bra with a half cup for this dress. I really like it. No more rice and hose. Um, wow, Ali stuttered. You really look amazing. Has mom seen you? No. I just finished getting dressed, Jessie turned. Let's go show her and then we need to get going. Allie watched her brother strut in to show off his new breasts to their mother. To her credit, she took it all in stride complimenting him on keeping the size close to what he already had been doing. I thought it best, Jessie answered. I didn't want to have to go and buy all new bras, plus this size just feels right for me. I didn't want to bring more attention to myself by marching around with D.D. Allie shook her head after listening. She started wondering just how much further Jesse was going to want to take this. It had been more than a year since they took that walk and Jesse went from dressing up at home as a sort of game, to living almost all day every day as her sister. Whatever he chose, she knew she would support him. It was a busy night at the restaurant. Ali was glad Jesse was working with her, they had a good system and could keep things flowing seamlessly. McDaniels, party of four, she called out. Jesse grabbed the menus and led them to a table. Hi! Dee Dee called as she approached the podium. Dee Dee, you having dinner here tonight? Ali asked. Yeah, whole family. Mom, Dad and Kendra are coming in, she grinned. Long wait? Um, about 35 minutes, she jotted down the request. You know Jesse is working tonight. Oh, shit, Dee Dee hissed. Dad said we were going out to dinner but didn't tell us where. Oh, damn. Jesse had just walked up. Oh, hey Dee Dee. Um, nice dress, Dee Dee nodded at his breasts. Thanks, Jesse blushed a bit. Kendra and my folks will be in any second, Dee Dee told him. I'm going to head them off and try and keep them away from you. She turned and went back through the crowd waiting for their table. When it comes time to seat them, Ali explained, I'll take them to the table. I don't want you to chance them realizing who you are. When their name came to the top of the list Ali went to get them rather than call them to the podium. She told Jesse to be sure to move away when it came time to walk past. Ali returned. Okay. I think it best we keep you away from their table. It's going to take a little more juggling to do the seating, but we can handle it. I wish I could say hi to Kendra, Jessie sighed. Would you like to say hi to her parents too? Ali hissed. Think, Jessie. This is not the place you want to have that conversation. I'm not sure it is a conversation you want to have at all. I know, Jessie huffed. But it would make things a lot easier. That's true, Ali told him. Her parents could forbid Kendra from ever seeing you again. You think it is tough sneaking around now? And do you think Kendra would be able to keep lying to her parents about sneaking out to see you? It couldn't last under that kind of scrutiny. You're right, Jessie sighed. 
Thanks for helping me keep my head on straight. My pleasure, Ali answered. We need to talk more later when there aren't as many folks around. A couple hours later Dee Dee and the rest of her family paraded past. Dee Dee turned to grab a mint from the dish on the podium. Great dinner, she smiled. Everything went great. She winked at them both. Oh, I want a mint too. Kendra came to get one. Oh, Jesse. She quickly looked around to see if her parents had stopped. When she turned back she looked at Jesse's breasts. Jesse? I'll tell you about it later, Jesse whispered. The girls turned and left. A few hours later Allie was heading out the door with Jesse. I can't wait to get out of this dress and into my night clothes. I have to say, Jesse added, these breasts added more weight to my bra. Definitely made a difference. I am ready for my nightgown as well. Just then Jesse's phone gave off its tone alerting that a text had arrived. Jesse pulled it from his purse and stopped. What's the matter? Allie turned. Kendra, Jesse told her, she says her mom would like it if Allie and her sister could come by tomorrow around one. Me and my sister? Allie worried. Jesse turned the phone toward her. Well, what do you want to do? Ali pressed. I'll back you up all the way. You had to know this would probably happen sooner or later. I just hoped I could get through the summer, Jesse began walking toward the car again. I figured once Dad got home things would have to go back to where they were before, but at least I might get a summer of living this fantasy. It has been great so far. He tapped away on his phone. Well? Ali waited. I told her we'd be there, Jesse answered. Ali waited in the kitchen. She had put on shorts and a top, she wanted to be casual for however this meeting would turn out. When Jesse entered the kitchen, she was surprised but realized she shouldn't have been. Jesse had on a denim miniskirt with a frayed hem, a white camisole with a built-in bra, a white short-sleeved shirt unbuttoned most of the way. On his feet he wore white canvas shoes with pink and white laces. She must have seen me all dressed up last night, Jessie explained, so I thought I'd show her casual today. You look terrific, Allie told him. They rode over to the Andrews house where Kendra immediately came out the door to greet them. She wrapped her arms around Jessie and kissed him. She won't talk to us about it, Kendra told them as they started back toward the house. She said this time because Dad is going to be gone all afternoon. I don't think he knows, but I'm not sure. They walked in and found Dee Dee and Mrs. Andrews already waiting in the living room. My, my, Mrs. Andrews made no effort to hide her giving Jesse a good look up and down. Aren't you a pretty little thing? Please, have a seat. Kendra led Jesse to the couch gripping his hand tightly. Allie took a chair near where Dee Dee was seated. Okay, first, I've not talked to either of the girls yet, Mrs. Andrews opened the talk. Last night while eating dinner, I could see my husband seemed to be unable to take his eyes off a particular hostess at the restaurant. Since Ali had shown us to the table, I assumed it would be whoever you were working with that held his attention so. At last, I got a glimpse of the girl, quite pretty, and when she turned around there was something familiar about her but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Oh, your father wouldn't have known, besides, I don't think he ever really looked at your face. After a while I went to the bathroom and while I was coming back out, I heard someone call out to Jesse from the bar area. When I got another look, I realized who the girl was. I did not wish to make a fuss there, or at home here until I was provided some explanation. I can tell from the way my daughter is clutching Jesse's hand that this is not much of a surprise for her. So, who wants to start and tell me just what is going on? Ali swallowed, looked around at everyone and could see Jessie getting ready to start to speak. She felt it might be better if she started so she blurted out well, before anyone else could say anything. From there she started telling Mrs. Andrews the story much the same way she told her own mother. When she got to the first walk with Helen, Dee Dee broke in about how she and Kendra joined them without knowing about Jessie being the other girl in the group. Each of the girls told their part in the story. Allie listened as Jesse talked about how much fun he and Kendra had going out and how often they went places as a couple of girls. She was glad he left out how they sometimes reached under each other's skirts. When Jesse finished up with landing the job at the restaurant the room was silent for a time. 
Allie watched Mrs. Andrews nervously. She knew how attached Jessie and Kendra were and how devastating it could be to them if Mrs. Andrews forbade her daughter from seeing Jessie. Okay, Mrs. Andrews finally broke the tension. Tell me, Jessie, what sort of plans you have for the future? Are you transgender? Are you planning on becoming a girl? Are you planning on attending school as a girl? What about Kendra? How does she figure into your plans going forward? Well, Jessie looked at Kendra and squeezed her hand, I'm not planning on changing anything. When school starts, I'll be back to dressing like a boy again. I hate it because I like these clothes, and the makeup and all. I don't want to be a girl, I just like dressing like one. I got these, he cupped one of his breasts, because I think the clothes look better with them, and they do. This summer came about because my dad is out of town on business and my mom figured it out. After hearing the same story, she decided to let me try it for the summer. And I'm pretty sure after this you are going to tell me how dangerous it can be for me, and Kendra if she is with me, if I were to run into the wrong sort of people. We are careful about where we go, but I also know that even if I wasn't wearing a skirt we could get into trouble with the wrong sort. Kendra, dear, she turned to her daughter, why are you so caught up on this boy who wants to dress up like a girl? Jessie is fabulous, she leaned against him and even laid a hand on his leg below the hem of his skirt. He isn't like the other boys, obviously. He's sweet, he pays attention to me in ways no other boy has. That first night I saw him in that black dress standing on the sidewalk I knew he was going to be a great boyfriend, even if he'd like to borrow my favorite skirt sometimes. Dee Dee laughed and that made Ali snicker. Mrs. Andrews looked at them both for a moment but then a smile began to crease her face. You have thought about a lot of this, then again, having been doing it for more than a year I guess you've had the time. I will tell you now that I am not going to say anything about not seeing each other, I don't think it would work anyway. I am not going to say anything to your father either because I don't believe he would handle it so well. He has a very narrow view of what sort of man should be dating his daughters, and one that would like to go prom dress shopping with her would not be on his list. Ali could see Jesse melt a bit as the stress left his body. She saw him give one of the camisole straps an adjustment without realizing he was doing it. This is going to take some getting accustomed to, Mrs. Andrews shook her head. I think, Ali interjected, that if you are around him for any amount of time, that he does such a good job on selecting clothes and doing his makeup and hair that you don't really notice it as something different. I guess we'll see, she got up and left the room. Anyone want to go see a movie? Dee Dee asked. Yeah, that sounds fun, Kendra jumped up. But I've got to go change. I can't have my boyfriend looking cuter than me. Sure, I'm in, Ali answered. She looked over and saw Jesse was feeling very pleased with himself. Summer was winding down, Ali knew Jesse was beginning to dread the end of it. Not only would it mean school would be starting up, but their dad would be back home and that meant packing up a fairly substantial wardrobe that Jesse had accumulated. They had been talking about how they could accomplish him keeping everything and keeping it hidden. Ali was trying to figure out what she would be taking to college and how much room she could leave him. Her phone rang and it was her mom calling from Berlin. Hey mom! Ali cried out, how's Europe? You and dad having a great time? Hey Ali girl, she called back. Everything is wonderful, we have been having a great time. And your father just loves the clothes I've been wearing, you can pass that along. Ali laughed, he'll be happy to hear it. So, you ready to come home? That's what I'm calling about, she told her, if everything is okay there, I am going to come back with your father in another week. Oh, yes, everything is fine, Ali told her. She was a bit disappointed that she wouldn't see her mother before she had to go back to college. Great, her mother came back, I told your father I would stay only if we could come back a day earlier so I could see you before you leave. Oh, well, that's great. I was afraid I wouldn't see you before I had to leave, she let out her breath. And it is good to know you'll be here a little earlier. We've got stuff to handle, you know. Well, don't worry too much, she answered. You know your dad doesn't go looking through too many things. Gotta go now. Love you. Tell Jesse I love him too. 
Will do, mom. Love you, love to dad. Bye, she clicked off the phone. Odd being told not to worry about cleaning out Jessie's closets. Allie was sitting in the living room, she had spent most of the day getting things packed up and ready to load in her car for the trip to college the next morning. She helped Jesse move some things around but also told him about their mother's advice about not stressing too much about putting stuff away. It would make things easier considering how much he travels, Jesse told her. He kept a few nightgowns in one of the dresser drawers. Other things he used space in Allie's room and dresser. Now, he was sitting with her dressed in shorts and a t-shirt. It seemed so odd to see him not in a dress. He just didn't look right to her. He didn't look happy. The door opened and their parents came in. Allie and mom were squealing and hugging each other, and Jesse, and their dad. Everyone trying to talk at once and move luggage around and it was pandemonium for 15 minutes before things started to settle down. So, tell us about Europe. Ali begged. What did you do? Where did you go? Come on, tell us everything. Well, mom started, I can't tell you everything because that's just not the sort of thing you tell your kids. Ew, mom, Ali crinkled her nose, then why even bring it up? Because, mom started to explain, our second night in Paris I wore one of those special nightgowns that I brought and you father was amazed that I would pick something out like that. Amazed and happy, he grinned. And, while well, we had been drinking some wonderful French wine with dinner and I was feeling pretty good and I told him about our shopping trip and just how helpful you two were in selecting my clothes for the trip. Of course he was surprised to hear that Jesse played such an instrumental part in selecting that nightgown as well as some of the other things I was wearing and I told him all about it. Ali looked over at Jesse who appeared to be trying to disappear into the cushions of the chair he was in. She was in shock as well and looked back at their father. She was confused, he didn't look angry, or anything but happy. At first I was confused about what mom was trying to tell me, dad began. It actually took us several days of talking about it. As we'd walk from one place to another, I kept coming back to it. And she was so supportive of you Jesse, and of what you have chosen that eventually I started to accept it or at least accept that I would see for myself before blowing up over it. I don't think I still understand it, and not having seen for myself, I guess I still don't know. But, I have agreed to not make you get rid of any of your things. And I will not make you hide anything around me. Really? Jesse sat up again. You mean if I were to go put a skirt on now you would be okay with it? Um, he looked over at their mother who nodded, yeah, I guess so and I hope that we can sit down and talk about this so perhaps I can understand it better. And, your mother told me that the first night you all had a nice dinner and perhaps we could do that as well if you are up for it. Colorful dresses? Ali asked. Yes, Ali girl, mom answered. Though I don't think your dad will be wearing one. No, dad affirmed, but I will put on a jacket and collared shirt. Okay. Jesse jumped up and started out of the room but stopped. Oh, no. I quit my job because I wouldn't be able to continue. Well, Mom smiled, actually, I called the restaurant and asked him to hold your job for you. You need to call him and tell him if you plan on working it beyond the summer. Jesse ran back in and hugged his mother, then his dad. Thank you. Ali felt so proud of him, of them all. She felt like she could head off to college without worrying this year if Jesse would have the support he might need. He looked to be in good hands. But first she had to decide what to wear to dinner. She watched as her parents gathered their luggage and rolled them up the hall to their bedroom, then she went to her own room. She heard music coming from Jesse's room. She was sure he probably had several dresses laid out on his bed trying to decide on the perfect one for dinner tonight. She entered her room and pushed the door closed. Then in her closet she started pushing through the dresses trying to decide on what she would wear. She came across a beige mini dress with a deep red pattern. She held it up looking at the asymmetric hem and v-neck. It was Jessie's and she thought maybe she ought to take it over to him. Then she decided on a better plan, this was going to be the dress she wore to dinner tonight. She went about getting herself ready. She went to the kitchen hoping to be the first one there but saw that her father had beaten her to it. 
Men don't take near as long to get ready as ladies do, he told her when he saw her. You look very nice. Thank you, Ali answered and did a pirouette showing herself off. She decided to wait before telling him it was Jessie's dress. Mom entered. She was wearing another short dress, blue silk. I bought this in Paris, she told Ali. Your father insisted I get it when we saw it in the store window. Well, he was certainly right, Ali answered. Your wardrobe certainly has gotten a lot sexier this summer. I like it, too, she moved and gave dad a kiss then took her seat. Who'd have thought that my kids would be the ones to help spark this resurgence? It was the red dress from that first dinner that started it, Ali pointed out. If we hadn't seen you in it, then maybe it wouldn't have happened. Speaking of which, dad interrupted. Where is Jesse? Does it always take him this long? Usually about as long as it takes mom and I, Ali took her seat, but he is probably being extra attentive tonight. I was trying to be careful, Jesse announced as he entered the kitchen, but I am also very nervous. He stepped into the kitchen from the hall and stopped. Oh, my lord, dad whispered. I can't, um, I mean I just, uh. I felt the same way the first time I saw her, mom told him. Jesse was in a white dress. It was sleeveless and had a low circular neckline. The bodice was tight with a couple ruffles that led to the knee-length skirt with its rows of ruffles. White high-heeled sandals adorned his feet. Ali saw his toenails were painted the same pink shade as the lipstick he wore. Um, come on in, sit down, let's eat before it gets cold, Dad instructed. Jesse moved to the table and took a seat. Ali, Jesse started after he sat, is that my dress? Yes, she grinned. I found it in my closet, and I thought it would be perfect for tonight. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not, Jessie snickered. As often as I have borrowed your things, I would be happy to lend you some of mine. Okay, Dad finally spoke again. I think I am over my shock. Jessie, I'm sorry but I just didn't expect you to look so pretty. Your mother tried to tell me but until I saw it for myself there was just no way I could be prepared for what I saw. I am starting to understand how you've been able to do all summer working at the restaurant without getting caught. Well, about that, Jesse started. Oh, no. Mom blurted. No, Mom, it's fine, Jesse tried to calm her. Kendra's family came to the restaurant and her mom figured it out. From the way she told us, Ali added, she might not have noticed at all except Mr. Andrews kept leering at Jesse whenever he was in the dining room. No. Mom giggled. True, Jesse answered. Then someone called me in the bar as she was walking by and that is when she figured it out. But, she is being cool about it, but she doesn't think Mr. Andrews would be so she isn't saying anything to him and I can't be dressing like this over there if he is going to be around. It seems to me that you really do prefer to be dressing as a girl all the time, Dad inquired. Yes, Jessie answered. I like the feeling, it makes me happy, I like putting in the effort to look nice, but I am happy being a boy. I understand, Dad answered. Mom told me over and over again that was how you felt, or at least that is what you were telling us. It's the truth, Jessie sat up straighter. I like who I am, and I like being able to express myself the way I do. I wouldn't change anything from the way things are right now. Oh, and by the way, Steve was thrilled to hear I would still be able to work part-time while school was going on. Probably more hours around the holidays. It'll be nice trying different hoes and things when the weather gets cooler. Jesse, Dad looked over at him, I am proud of you. I really don't understand it, but from the way you are taking care of yourself and defending yourself, I think you are a terrific kid. I'm sure I'll adjust to it. I already feel like I have two daughters right now. One other thing though. I hear your mom and sister still saying he and him. Do you still use male pronouns about yourself? Out in public everyone switches to how I look, Jesse answered. After that, I don't really care. It isn't something I worry about. I'll be good with whatever makes you comfortable. They finished eating dinner and then Dad surprised them by taking them all out for ice cream. Jesse texted Kendra, Ali texted Helen and Dee Dee. 
They all met up and walked the shops while eating their treats.